month so I just filmed my foundation routine I hope you guys enjoy that please excuse the frizzy hair I did just dye it two days ago and I had to bleach it as well it is a little damaged of course it's also not straightened because I'm trying to stay away from heat right now just a little let it heal up a little and I'm going to be doing a couple treatments and it should be back to normal soon enough but yeah please excuse the frizzy hair it's also a super humid day and when it's curly it looks very it doesn't hide my split ends let's say I hope you guys enjoy this video the foundation that I use does come in a ton of colors so I think this will be really great for with really pale skin like me as well as people with darker skin. The camera angle and zoom does change quite often in this video. My camera doesn't have automatic zoom so I have to do it myself and my camera keeps dying so every time it dies I charge it a little because I'm impatient. I don't wait long enough and then I film a bit and have to keep doing it in chunks like that. <laughs> Hopefully next time I'll have my camera charged up all the way. We won't have that problem But if you guys like this video, please comment rate and subscribe and thank you so much to everybody who's done that so far It's been amazing. I'm so happy that you guys are liking the videos and sorry to all the people who said they liked my hair I just I had headed that way for a while So I needed a change you might not be able to tell but it's pastel purple with pink highlights as well as silver in it so it's very different from last time. Okay to start we're going to use our e.l.f. makeup mist and set. Um, if you have a different setting spray you can use that it doesn't really matter it's all personal preference so I just like to shake it and then spray a couple sprays and then just wait about a minute or so just to let it uh, sink into your skin you'll feel it starts to get a little bit tacky not too bad but enough that you'll know that it's ready next we're going to use the gosh velvet touch primer I've used this is my second bottle and I'm almost done it um I like it the only thing is I have when I smile I have dimples and my face just creases really bad there and I've noticed that my foundation creases there as well um, even if I do set it with a powder. So I'm going to be trying out a new primer soon and I think I'm going to try the L'Oreal Magic Primer Studio Secret thingamajig. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how that goes. So I just take a pump of this and then just dot it all over my face and I try to get more where those little lines appear. Okay. So just let your primer sit for a couple seconds. You'll feel it when it starts to sink in. And now we're going to use, this is something I found kind of recently. It's the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And it comes with SPF 17. And I use the shade W1 Porcelain. It's a perfect match for me. And I'm so glad I found it because I'm so pale. I used to use Revlon Color Stay, but I found that it was, you could see the line. Even if I blended it down my neck, you could still see the difference. It was a really good foundation. It lasted longer than this. This still does last all day the way that I do it, but Revlon Color Stay was a bit more heavy and it lasted a teeny bit more. So the way I apply my foundation, I found the best way with this is to dot it. I put a lot by the way. I dot it over my entire face and then I blend it out after. Oh my god, I look funny. Anyway, I just take this sponge and I find it works so well. I didn't believe the hype when I first heard about it, but then I finally caved in and I got it from Sephora and I love it. I used to use those little kind of, they're not triangles, but they kind of are, those uh, cosmetic sponges and they're really, they're not the same start to pat it in. I'm going to zoom in for you guys so you can see. So you'll see it covers up all that redness that I have and I know it looks, I get it on my lips but that's up to you. Um, I know it does look a bit darker than the skin on my face and or it looks a bit lighter than the skin on my face and it is but you'll see it matches the rest of me 
It's just I have a lot of redness in my face so that skin looks darker than the rest of my body. And because your face I think gets a bit like it's more exposed to the sun. So I just keep patting it in. My skin has been breaking out lately because I start university tomorrow. I'm going to be in my second year of nursing. It's a total of four years. And even though I know everybody in my class and I like them all, they're all great people, just the fact that I'm starting and it's changing my routine makes me really nervous. I always get really nervous about stupid stuff. And yeah, when I get nervous, I get sick and my skin breaks out, which is not fun at all. Oh my god! That's my little like brother playing years. video games. Just a second. There. Shut my brother's door so hopefully we'll be able to hear him as well. And he's moving downstairs next week so that's awesome. At least I hope it's next week. Or sooner, that would be great. So yeah, pat your foundation in and once it's good enough for you, you're good to go. Now you can use concealer. I don't because first of all I have trouble finding a concealer that's pale enough for me. I know I could order stuff from Elamasca and companies like that but really I don't have the money to do that. I'm in university. All of my money I have to save. So yeah that's good enough for me. Now next I like to take my e.l.f. makeup mist and set and spray that all over my face again. So just shake it up. Next, to set it, we're going to use the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. It looks like it's white because there's white all over the container, but it does turn translucent. It comes with a powder puff, and I used to use that, but lately I've started to take it. It looks so dirty. I swear, this is not really dirty. It's just powder, so it gets everywhere. I take it, and I just put a little bit into the lid. And then I take a powder brush, this is one from Sigma, take a powder brush, pat it in, and then I pat it all over my face. So, really, I just like this because it takes some of the shine out, and I have oily skin, so any shine that comes out is awesome, because my skin gets shiny enough without my foundation doing it. So you will notice that you do have some powder, especially on your eyebrows and on the fine little hairs that are on your face. I really hope I'm not the only one with those little hairs, because that would be embarrassing. Okay, so next I like to do my blush. This is the e.l.f. blush in Pink Passion. And then I just take my Sigma Angled, what is this? Large Angled Contour, the F40. And I find that this blush isn't very pigmented, so I do get quite a bit onto the brush. Alright, so next I like to use my e.l.f. eyelid primer. I used this in my $20 makeup challenge along with the other e.l.f. products. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. I think I did pretty good for my second video. Then again, this is my third, so hopefully... This one won't be too bad. Next, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild palette. This is the Walking on Eggshells one. I bought this for my $20 makeup challenge again, and I really like it, so I started using it every day. So I just take the eyelid color, which is the peachy kind of one, and I just cover my entire eyelid in it. Next, I'm going to take this brown crease color and then I have just been using the elf eyeshadow C brush it doesn't really matter what brush you use use what you like I just take that brown and put a teeny bit in my crease like I just dab it straight into the color next I like to take my Sigma tapered blending brush this is the E40 brush E40 brush <laughs> couldn't say that and I just like to blend this bit out 
Now clean off your little eyeshadow brush. I just wipe it on my hand. Can you tell I'm not a professional? So yeah, um, next we're going to take this brow bone color, smacking everything around. And I put it on the inner corners of my eyes just to lighten them. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's my dad on the phone. He likes to shout, but he just seems to think you won't be able to hear him unless he's shouting. Okay, next I'm going to take my Rimmel London Exaggerate Water Eye Proof. Water Eye Proof. What? What does that mean? The Waterproof Eye Definer Pencil. I love this stuff. It's amazing. It stays all day. You can see my brown eyes. They're actually hazel, but today they're gonna appear brown. I like to tight line the outer corners. You guys can see. And then at the bottom, wait, I'm gonna screw this up. And at the bottom, I like to add a teeny bit on the outer corner, right at the base of my lashes. And then on the other end of this brush, you'll see there's like, there's a sponge. I just take that. Don't tug on your eyes too badly, if you can help it. Take that and blend it to the, the inner part. So just blend it along your lash line. Um, the mascara that I use all the time is the Lash Blast Volume. It comes in the orange tube. When I finish this tube, I am going to start using the Lash Blast, the same one, but the waterproof version. Because I've never used a waterproof mascara before. And I think that it would be cool. There, so when you've got your mascara on, you should notice that your eyes do look a million times better. I love this mascara, it works so great for me. Next, I like to fill in my eyebrows with the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. This is an ash. My brows are pretty crazy and I have a lot of scars in them. So, uh, normally I just really don't bother with them. What's left? What did I forget? Oh, lips. I almost forgot lips. Lips, lips, lips. I just found out that Shoppers Drug Mart in my town had the Revlon Jess Bitten Kissable Lip Stains and I haven't opened this yet so let's open it. It doesn't really match my hair but I like using pink lipstick so let's see. This is very bright. It smells if you've ever gotten those toothpicks from like a restaurant. Um, that had that like kind of peppermint scent. It's not fully peppermint, but it's kind of, it's like wood with peppermint added. That's what I find these, or at least this one smells like. This is the color 20, which is lovesick. And I love it. Oh my God, I'm so in love. I think it's amazing. I'm going to wear this all day and then maybe I'll make a video. I also got the red one which is color 45 romantic and I'll have to try this one out too I'm really excited I don't know how red will go with my hair but okay so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this foundation routine um I had fun doing it I love doing these videos and I have to say thank you so much to everybody who's watched my other videos I was so surprised at the views that I got the comments from you guys have been amazing I seriously thought I was going to get like maybe top 10 views so I was really really shocked and I'm really happy I really enjoyed meeting you guys and thank you so much I appreciate it so much so if you enjoyed this video please comment rate or subscribe um, it's really up to you if you want to see more videos subscribe I'm going to be posting a review on these contacts soon and I have a couple of hair videos coming up. Stay tuned. Bye.